Corvo. The Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Lost your senses? Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it then. Stop, you lost one. your senses. at play. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. And now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Attention all citizens, no pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise.
taking this blasted curfew. How is anyone supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett. Even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right. And the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Damn! After that, none of you will be remembered. I will not remember any of you. You haven't been thinking again, have you? Uh, no, 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 sir. Not, not thinking. I was just wondering if Sokolov is testing elixirs on people to cure the plague. All these why is it he always asks for healthy citizens? If you follow my meaning, sir. You have no mind for natural philosophy. Obviously, it's because the ones already sick with plague don't live long enough to provide Sokolov with any useful information. It's just a shame, is all. Like that woman the other day. She was easy to look at. Seemed others. nice enough. Last night. 
Indeed, I believe so. It's gonna blow! Get away! Turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in what? How did you get past all the guards? Your tattoo is quite unusual. It is reminiscent of markings I've studied on cave walls far from the city. Who sent you, Piero? That jealous fool. There's no need to be his lap hound. You and I can come to an agreement. One that I'm sure will please you more than anything Piero dreamed up. Have you no heart? The royal physician himself. He made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. 